Hey everybody, I just wanted to ask a question and show the update of my TDI ALH 1.9 liter, um, it's, it, they call them IP, uh, IQ pumps, um, the rebuild that I'm doing here. This pump I already took apart and rebuilt it and I actually have a question. The, the primary shaft, the primary shaft here has a lock point and that's your top dead center for your pump but in order to set that properly you have to know where top dead center is on the on the main shaft here so here's the main shaft and on this one when I took this pump apart I marked where that top dead center mark was and if you can see here it's not where the key is I thought it was where the key is is top dead center if you look on the end here oh, I gotta go somewhere okay so you see that's that's the key point the key way and there's the mark for where the top dead center or the lock is on the pump. Um, it looks like it's off about, what do you want to say, <laughs> about 80 degrees there? I'm sorry, what is that? That's 45, uh, 90 is a complete, no, yeah, yeah, no, 90 is a, a half turn. So, yeah, that, that almost looks like about from here to there, it looks like about 85 degrees off of the keyway. And this one, I actually put this in gear on, this, uh, this pre-mounting um, back for the, for the cog. I put that on in direct line with that keyway, with the keyway. And you can tell because uh, at the quantity adjuster, while it's in the top dead, top dead center position, while it's in that top dead center position, and the, you see that, that little hole right there? I don't know if you can see that little hole. I'll try and get a little closer. There's a little hole there. That's the main hole that goes back to that goes back to the ports back here. But uh, and this is the, the little quantity adjuster slider. This one's kind of so it's kind of sticking still. Even though I took the part took the pump apart, I didn't polish that shell or polish the inside of that quantity adjuster ring. So that one's actually a little too tight. I don't think I'll use that one. Um, this pump, I took it apart. And one of the things I noticed was that in here, and I'll point in there, if you can see, at this point, there's four points here, here, this here, and over here, and then at the top, I don't know if you can see it or not, at the top and at the top over here. There's four points where it's making um, contact, and it's actually worn away some of the body of the pump. Now that material has to go somewhere, and typically that goes down into your injectors, and that, that's, that's not good news. But what that is, is that's from this guy here, the center roller gear. The center roller gear has these pins, and these pins, if they push out far enough, they make contact with the body of the the, uh, the injection pump, which is not good news. Um, so I was actually considering the fact that that may be a bad pump, and I, I don't think it's a bad pump. I think I could still go ahead and use that pump because there's no scoring near any of the, uh, the compression areas of the pump. But I've gone through and I've uh, polished these guys up so far. Um, I polished one of only one of the rollers has been polished but uh, I'll go ahead and polish up the rest of them and I've polished and cleaned all these other parts. They were extremely bad um, coming out of the, the pump. The, the thing that you want to pay particular attention to if you're going to rebuild your pump is you want to pay attention to these veins. You want to polish the hell out of these guys. N not what not with sand equipment. You don't want to sand them at all but you want to polish the hell out of them. Um, they have to actually move out due to a slight vacuum and centrifugal force they have to move out and they're the guys that actually uh, help with the compression there since it's a mechanical pump th this is the first ring that goes down and it's an offset ring and then this guy goes on top of it and it creates a sealed chamber and that sealed chamber runs offset inside of the pump body and it draws fuel um, because it's opening up it draws fuel in from here and forces it out here and when it goes out there it actually comes out of that hole at the top and it's a purely mechanical function there there's no rubber seals no plastic gaskets none of that stuff um, there's nothing to wear out there those surfaces do run against each other um, that, uh, well the only surface that runs against itself is these guys in here these surfaces do run against each other um, but this 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 guy here runs on that main shaft. This guy, uh, these guys are the ones that are, do all the work. 
And if they get stuck in because um, because you have uh, poor diesel or because you have gum in your system or because the car's been sitting for a while, then um, that's why you can, uh, you, if you try to, to purge your system, you'll notice that the fuel is coming up real easily and it's coming up easily because those veins don't come out anymore. All right, so that's uh, one of my concerns, but if anybody can answer this question to me, um, I, I have the, the ring gear here. I have this gear here, okay? It's the same as this one, and it's gonna go on the end of, I'll put it here. It's gonna go to the end of this shaft, but this one, I marked this one. I didn't mark this one before I disassembled it, so um, I don't know the precise location where the shaft is supposed to go back on to that, gear, um, the, the, the backer gear for your cog. Um, this is the way that I did the other one. And I, uh, get it a little higher so you can see. I put it on so that it was in alignment with that keyway in the front. And I thought that's the way it was supposed to go. But then when I disassembled this other pump and paid attention when I used the puller, I actually cut this one before I used the puller to mark it. It's not with the keyway. It's about 85, 87. It's almost 90. Almost 90 degrees. So I say about 87 degrees off of the keyway position um, advanced from the keyway position and I don't know exactly where the real position is supposed to be so if anybody knows please I would love to know and I would love to show everybody else uh, it's kind of important to have that in the right position because if you don't then your entire pump timing is off all right uh, take care TDL up in Chicago and uh, wait let me show you the rest of the pieces <laughs> Those are all the little parts and pieces. It's not that hard to take it apart. Um, you do need one special tool. It's kind of hard to get away from this one special tool. And that's the one for Metal Nerd. The one to take a loose the, uh, that one long bolt on top of the IQ to get the pump out in order to start doing your disassembly. But other than that, uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty straightforward procedure. All right, uh, so I'm, I'm calling out and I need help, help. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if anybody wants me to, I'll, I'll show the the quick reassembly procedure for these pumps. But uh, some I've seen some other videos on the reassembly, and it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's no no sense in going over material that somebody else has already done. But that's one thing: the position of that gear on the end that I haven't seen in any videos, and I really don't. I'm, I'm at a loss here. So, all right, thanks, guys. Take care.